Hi, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to do a Christmas themed painting. Last Christmas, I did this wreath. Um, lots and lots of tiny little blooms and then I embellished it um, with some little berries um, and the big bow. Um, I'm going to put the link for this video in the description of this video. So if you want to see how I made this, um, go into the description box below the video title and click on the link and the link and the video will be there. So on this theme, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to try the shape of a Christmas tree. So I'm going to have a slightly variegated base, whites and golds, I think. Um, and then I'm going to do lots of green blooms, hopefully try and get the shape of a Christmas tree somehow. Um, and then once it's dry, I will probably embellish it with some little baubles or add some bits to it. Um, not sure, but basically green blooms to start with. Um, so let me show you the colours. So these are the colours I'm going to start with. I've got Amsterdam white, Amsterdam bronze and Montmartre gold. So the base is going to be, I think, mostly white, but with some streaks of the bronze and the gold in, just for some interest. And then the blooms, this one is Pebio Earth Green, De La Rowney Sap Green, and Iridescent Green Yellow. So they're all mixed to my Dutch pour consistency. So they're all mixed with flood fluoratrol and water. And then I'm going to use some um, cell activator, which is Australian fluoratrol and Amsterdam white paint. This canvas is 40 centimetres by 50 centimetres. So I've got the white, I've got bronze and I've got gold. So I'm just thinking how I'm going to do this. I think there's two ideas I've got really. One is that I just do sort of some horizontal lines across the canvas, sort of wispy lines. Another is that I start from the centre and then blow outwards. I think that might get a bit confusing though with the shape of the tree. I think actually the horizontal lines would be better. So I think I will just, so if I've put the majority of my paint in the centre and I'm going to blow it out that way. Now I'm using some leftover white paint there. So I haven't just mixed it, so I don't actually know if I've got enough. And then some other, other few leftovers here. Right, let's put some gold in first. So just a few, just a few little lines, I think. some bronze see in the um when the these colors are in the container they don't actually look very different but actually as soon as you get them onto the canvas you can see the difference the bronze and the gold are completely different colors but actually while they're in the containers the squeeze bottles they actually look quite similar so i'm going to blow this out with the hair dryer Right, that definitely hasn't worked because it's totally unsymmetrical. Not happy with that at all. That is much, much better. Bearing in mind these dark bits won't show because the tree will be there. But what I've got now is just some 
really nice soft areas of white and gold. A little bit too much gold there. I wonder if I can just blow a little bit more of that off. There, that's muted it a little bit, I think. Right, I think I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. So I've got hints of that bronze, but not much at all. The majority of the colour that I can see is the gold, but this is just the background. So I just need to not worry too much about it. So I'm now just gonna try and work out the um, shape of my Christmas tree. And to do that, I'm just putting some push pins down just to just to try and sort of get the shape that I want. The reason I'm putting push pins down oops, is they don't take up much paint when I lift them up and I can move them around so I can get the shape, I can get the tree as I want it. Right, this might look really strange, but if you can kind of imagine, I've got three rows of branches. I've left quite a bit of space at the top because I want to put a nice star on there afterwards. And then there's some space at the bottom because I want to put um, the base of the tree, um, the stalk, the stem, the trunk, sorry. Just making some little puddles. And I might end up having to add a few more puddles, but I'm trying to do a, just a few to start with, not too many. This is my cell activator. So I'm now just going to put a little drop on. I think I'll just start with the bottom puddles. Now I'm just going to take these away. rough rough basis of a tree there 
um but there's a big but it looks terrible so i'm what i'm going to i like the colors i like the greens i'm just now going to do some more blooms on top so i get this sort of built up effect of blooms so all the blooms you'll see at the moment will then distort but that's okay because i'm going to be putting some bigger and better blooms out on top um, the other thing <clears throat> i'm going to do is switch around the greens i'm not as keen on the earth green i think i might even just go for the sap green and the iridescent green thinking about it so i think i'm just going to go roughly in the middle slightly bigger puddles and sort of roughly in the middle of where those blue the first lot of blooms were Right, I've finished for now. I have no idea whether I like this or not. Um, it was a lot more difficult than I thought. To get that shape, I knew it was going to be awkward having to blow it into a quite a fine point, um, but it was a lot more difficult than I was expecting. Um, however, I absolutely love the effect you've got in the tree. So I ended up um, wrecking it with lots of little tiny swirls, and I love that result because you've got the cells... But then where there were just some bigger um, sections of colour, it's all twisted together. So I think it really adds to the effect of the tree. You know, if you were going for just flowers or blooms, that would have wrecked it. But because of it, it's a tree, I really, really like that. I went, went all around the edge, little tiny fluted lines around the edge. Um, and I just think it gives it a bit more shape. Um the background, the base, I'm happy with. It's the, I think it's the right sort of depth of colour. It's not too dark. It's not too light. Um, the cells and the, the colours in this are beautiful. So it almost looks like lots of little leaves there where I've pulled it through. Um, but this is only part one. So I'm going to do a lot of embellishing on this, add a lot more colour to it. So my Christmas tree has transformed. I wasn't particularly happy with it when it was wet. I'm really happy with it now. I've done lots to it and unfortunately, it just didn't occur to me to film it. Um, it was on my kitchen worktop, so I kept doing bits, adding bits. So the process took me all day to do because I was doing bit by bit around cooking dinner. Um, so I didn't film it, so I'm really sorry, but I will try and film the embellishment of a future one. Um, so first thing I did, the green, um, there were some really bright white bits and I've just dabbed those in with a little bit of the earth green because I just didn't want the really bright white showing through. Um, I drew on lots of circles, coloured them in with my Posca pens, went around them with uh, black Posca pen and did the reflection with the white Posca pen and bronze um, uh, pen in there, um, Sharpie. Um, to create all the little baubles. I've shaded on the other side of the bauble with a little tiny bit of black, so just to make them look a bit 3D. The um, the tinsel, the red or the red, it almost looks like red beading, um, I just start, um, dipped the end of a felt tip pen, the, the lid end, well actually no, it's the base, into the red pen and then I've just dabbed it onto the canvas and it's still wet at the moment. Um, I've also 
gone around the edge you can see there with some darker green I needed to define the edge of the tree, of the tree a bit more and also if you look really close you'll just see a few little black marks again just to really define the tree I painted on the pot uh, tried to give that a bit of depth and definition and then um, a lovely red border with um, a shadow a black Posca pen shadow um, so quite I did quite a lot it spent me quite I spent quite a lot of time doing it Oh, and my star, forgot I added my star in. Um, tried to, again, tried to make that look 3D, giving it a bit of shading and a bit of depth. So yeah, really happy with the result. It's definitely a fun one, definitely very, very festive. Um, yeah, really pleased with it. And I'm really happy with the gold, actually, the way that the gold sort of shoots out in all directions. Um, I think that makes a really good base. Um, so um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any thoughts, any comments, please do let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.